And now at five, two new charges pending tonight against the Chandler mom already charged with murdering her own two children. We have more big developments in the case against Lori Vallow. She's already charged in Idaho where her kids were found buried in her new husband's backyard. And the same day we learned prosecutors in Arizona are also considering murder charges against her. It appears she may never face criminal charges at all. A court appointed psychologist says she is incompetent to stand trial and our chief investigator Morgan Lowe's covered this case from the get go. Does this really mean she won't stand trial Morgan? Nicole, it could, but it's more likely that this will just delay things. This is a potential death penalty case and it's probably the first in a long list of delays before this case makes it to trial. Um, I have Ms. Smith and Mr. Wood appearing here for the state. Lori Vallow in court Wednesday, draped in blue, wearing a mask, darker hair than we're used to seeing. What we did not know is that a psychologist had determined she is not competent to stand trial. By no means is it the end of the road. Phoenix defense attorney Jason Lamb, who is not connected to this case, says this may delay the trial, but most defendants who are initially considered not competent do end up standing trial. What is interesting here is that Chad Daybell also faces charges in the same case. Does the staying or halting of the proceedings against one defendant who is possibly incompetent have an effect on the other. Chandler Police Department, anybody inside? Also today, Chandler Police announced they have already forwarded their case to the county prosecutor. They believe Lori conspired to murder her husband, Charles Vallow, back in 2019. Her brother, Alex Cox, actually pulled the trigger but investigators say Lori was involved. But none of this will make it to court unless a judge decides Lori is fit. The ultimate goal of a competency process is to restore a defendant through medication or other means to a point where they are fit and competent to stand trial. And just 30 minutes ago, Charles Vallow's former attorneys released a statement that says Charles told them if anything happens to him, it was Alex and Lori who did it. Nicole? Yeah, so Morgan, what's the timeline here? When will we find out if the case is moving forward? Probably sooner than later. The prosecutor has had this for nearly two months. They'll either file charges, decline charges, or send it back for more investigation.